Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. The collection of videos and animations you see here were all generated using Morph Studio AI. This visual showcase demonstrates the incredible capabilities of Morph Studio in producing engaging content, evident in every video you see here. One of the key benefits of Morph Studio is that it empowers users to unleash their creative ideas and produce professional-looking 3D animated videos without any prior software knowledge or the need for expensive hardware. By leveraging AI technologies such as text-to-video, Morph Studio allows you to create high-quality 3D animated videos simply by typing prompts. Even if you have no skills in 3D software like Maya, 3ds max or cinema 4d the best part is that morph studio is completely free to use during the beta period morph studio offers a beta version accessible on discord where users can experiment with text to video by writing descriptions scripts or prompts morph studio ai automatically brings your ideas to life in this tutorial i will show you how to use morph studio ai to create your own stunning videos so stay tuned and let's get started iman global youtube channel Initially, we visit the Morph Studio website. This is the Morph Studio website that you see. By scrolling down a little, you will see a showcase of various videos and animations that have been generated by the Morph Studio AI. To access the Morph Studio AI, I click on the Join Beta and Discord button. After a few short questions and answers in the Morph Studio server on Discord, I am placed in the Morph Studio AI's Discord server. This is the welcome page of the Morph Studio AI in Discord. In the left menu, there are very useful links. For example, in the community section, I click on the prompt FAQ link. This is actually a forum for asking questions and getting answers about the Morph Studio AI. For example, I click on the post titled list of prompt commands. On the right, a complete list of commands that can be used in the Morph Studio Discord server is seen, which is very useful for generating videos and animations. The rooms for generating videos and animations are categorized into two groups of pro, and regular. The pro rooms use the updated version of this AI. For the first attempt, I freely enter one of the rooms under the Morph Studio Video Pro subheading. In this section you will see works that have been created by others. I scroll down. At the bottom is a text box for entering the prompt. To convert text to a video, I type the command slash video. By typing the slash symbol, an expandable list is also seen containing the video command and I click on it. A prompt label is added to the text box. In this box we can type our ideas to be converted into a video and explain our ideas so that the Morph Studio AI can convert it. I have prepared an idea in advance for converting to a video and pasted it into the text box. At the end of the text, I add the words AR16 to 9 to set the aspect ratio. Then I add the command camera zoom out to control the camera. After that I add FPS 24 to set the frame rate. Don't worry at all, I will teach you all these parameters completely at the end of this tutorial. I click in an empty space in the text box and press the enter key. The prompt is then queued for waiting to be converted into a video and is highlighted. I want to enter another prompt. Again, to convert text to a video, I type the same previous command slash video. By typing the slash symbol, an expandable list is seen containing the video command, and I click on it. A prompt label is added to the text box. In this box we can explain our ideas to be converted to video. I have another idea for converting to a video. I paste it into the text box. At the end of the text, I write the words AR16 to 9 to set the aspect ratio. I type FPS 24 to set the frame rate. I add the command camera zoom out to control the camera. Stay with me until the end of the tutorial. I will teach you all these parameters completely at the end. I click in an empty space in the text box and press the enter key. The second prompt is also queued waiting to be converted into a video and is highlighted. After a short time, both text prompts are converted into videos. I play the first video. The download button is in the top right corner above the video frame. In the bottom right of the video frame is a button that will requeue this prompt for converting into a video. If you are not satisfied with the current results, you can use this button. I played the second video. As you can see, the results are not bad for the first attempt. The video download button is located on the top right of the video frame. To achieve better results, we need to run the prompts several times. 
By clicking on the button designated for running the prompts again, I will queue up new prompts and ensure that the next results will be better. The videos you are seeing are the result of multiple trials and experiments with Morph Studio's AI-powered text-to-video system. Morph Studio AI is still in its early stages of development and research, and has a long way to go before being perfected. However, with the capabilities it currently offers, you too can create amazing videos and animations like the ones you see here. Don't be afraid to experiment and learn from mistakes. Try different prompts multiple times to achieve out standing results. The AI-powered Morph Studio offers image-to-video capability, allowing you to animate your images and create cinematic videos. In this tutorial, I'll cover how to use this feature. From the left menu in the Morph Studio video section, I click on a desired room link. Here, I see the works of other individuals. I scroll down and type the command slash animate in the text box. Upon entering slash, a drop-down list appears and I click on the animate command. A new box opens for uploading images. I click on this box and select an image of my choice from my hard drive to upload. Then, I click on a text box in one corner. In the drop-down list, the prompt command is displayed. I click on prompt. Now, I can type the idea for animating and transforming this image into a video based on this prompt. I type the words facing the camera and smiling so that the AI can animate the image accordingly. I write the parameter FPS 24 to set the frame rate and camera zoom out parameter to create a cinematic camera movement. I press enter. This prompt goes into the queue and is highlighted. After a short period, the image is transformed into a video. I play the video. If I'm not satisfied with the result of the image to video conversion, there is a button at the bottom left of the video frame to rerun the same prompt. I click on it several times. This way, new prompts are queued, and after a short while, new videos are generated for us. The download button for the video is located on the top right of the video frame. As you can see, all prompts have been transformed into new videos, and we review them. With the AR parameter, you can set the aspect ratio to generate videos in portrait, landscape, or square format. Using the motion parameter allows you to control the intensity and amount of motion animation for the elements in each video. The FPS parameter allows you to set the frame rate from 8 to 30 for the videos, with the default being 24. To control the camera motion, you can use commands like camera zoom in and out or camera pan right and left. With more Studio AI, you can create videos tailored to your specific needs and audience. Whether you're looking to create explainer videos, product demos, animated short films, 3D animations, or even entertaining and engaging content, Morph Studio AI can help you bring your vision to life. And remember, Morph Studio AI is just a tool. The real magic comes from your creativity and imagination. So don't be afraid to experiment and have fun. So give it a try, experiment with different prompts, and unleash your creativity with the power of AI. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more content. Feel free to share it with others too. If you want to support me directly, check out the super thanks button. It helps me create more tutorials. Stay tuned for future videos where I'll go deeper into this topic. See you in the next one.